Good morning, beautiful people. It's 3.30 p.m. <laughs> I haven't really done anything today. Well, I don't know why I keep starting with that because I had my job orientation today, so that was fun. Um, and then I came home and I took a nap. And then I've just been laying around. So I figured I say hello to you guys, and then I really want pizza. So we're gonna go to Walmart <clears throat> and get a cauliflower pizza, one of the pizzas I can actually eat. Our daily affirmation of the daily day is I act with courage and confidence. Do you act with courage and confidence? I do sometimes. Like when I go get a pizza. All right, y'all, so the oven is preheating for the pizza, and I got ice cream. Not super keto, well, it's as keto friendly as you get without just, okay, this is too difficult. It's as keto friendly as you get without just making ice cream out of bananas. And I don't really want ice cream out of bananas, you know? So I'm gonna give this a shot. I had a different flavor last time. I got it, it was cookie, cookie dough or something. It was really not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. But my little my little app guy still yelled at me when I put it in there, and I was like, you know, whatever. What? Ever, right? I'm just trying to live life, and if that means I need a little bit of ice cream, then I need a little bit of ice cream. So. So hard to do with one hand. Where can I put you? On the paper towel roll? That works pretty well. Yeah. You know, it's not bad. I could probably just eat, stand here and eat the whole thing, so that's good. Huh. What is in it? Whey protein, cane sugar, all sorts of stuff. Okay, it's not that bad. Fat free, low glycemic, perfect. Lactose free, whey protein, gluten free. Cool. I dig. It'll go lovely with my cauliflower pizza. Okay, well I'm just gonna stand here and eat this. You don't need to be here for that. Okay, so I ate my pizza and I've been sitting here for the last two hours watching okay <laughs> watching this girl on YouTube <clears throat> her name is Kendall Ray um so I've been watching so many of her hello you gonna okay well Kendall Ray um she has a lot of true crime videos on her channel. She also has, hi, um, <laughs> just hi, honey. Anyway, <laughs> she has a lot of true crime stuff. She has a lot of other stuff. Um, 
but I love her and I've just been watching a few of her um, true crime videos one of them was about Dee Dee and Gypsy which is a really big case um, a really big deal about a mother and her daughter um, and it was about was it Manchester M Mun I already forgot Munchausen through proxy um, so her mother told her and everybody else that she was super sick, had leukemia, all this shit. Um, even though doctors then later found out she didn't, but then didn't say anything about it. So hopefully a lot of doctors lost their licenses, um, during that investigation. I'm not sure they should have though, because they definitely were treating her for leukemia and she did not have leukemia. So that was a big question of how did it get that far? Like she was in the Ronald house, the Ronald McDonald house and all sorts of stuff. And like one of the bigger things was that she had muscle dystrophy and they definitely, they did an actual biopsy and it was negative. She did not have muscle dystrophy. Um, but she was just, it's a whole long story, um, but I just finished that one, and I've just been watching her for the last, like, two hours. Also, her makeup is fucking amazing, and I, it, it's just, like, pretty makeup. <laughs> like, it really makes me want to go look good for my videos because she looks gorgeous, and I'm just over here like, hey, <laughs> I don't wear makeup. <laughs> I actually really do like makeup. I'm wearing some mascara. I think most of it's come off because I was sleeping <laughs> after I put it on. <laughs> um, but, so that was just an update. Can you not kick me? It's really rude. That was just an update on what I'm doing. I'm going to end up following into, I've already fallen into her rabbit hole, but I'm gonna fall for the next like four hours probably too. And just stay falling like Alice in fucking Wonderland. Huh, Luna? Luna, have you said hi to the vlog yet? Have, have we introduced you? Would you like to say hello? Okay, thank you for saying hello. Is that all, is that all you have to say? Is that it? I think that's it. Anyway, <clears throat> but even down to the editing in her videos, it's really good, and I would love to get an editor. I wonder if they're expensive. <laughs> I just don't know how to edit anything. I can upload it, and then I piece it together, and then I upload it, and actually my computer pieces them all together for me. Ow. Hold my hair, Rue. Are you protecting us from the outside world? Yoda. Yoda. What's your problem? Anyway. Um, but the editing is good. Just, and you can tell she works really hard on her videos because she'll have clips of news things and like all sorts of stuff. But anyway, love her. Kendall Ray. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Can you stop protecting us from nothing? We're gonna be okay, sweet, sweet cheeks. Promise. Oh, our neighbor's moving. That's a big deal. It's a really big deal. I know. People shouldn't ever leave their house. Um,. So I don't really know what else I'm going to do tonight, except watch this. It's 5.30 right now. Tomorrow is bachelorette party. Um, painting and wine. So if I get brave, I'll bust Molly out. I, I want to get better at vlogging in public. Not necessarily with other people in it, but just in general being like, yeah, this is what we're doing. Um, kind of like last night at the park with Dylan. I should really watch that back, because I didn't, um, and I had, like, four shots of tequila, so, if you couldn't tell, I was pretty toasted, <laughs> um, 
but that was really fun. And I do want to go like actually ghost hunting with somebody, either Dylan or my friend Sierra. We're going ghost hunting at some point up in Virginia City. That'd be super cool. Um, so yeah, that's my little update. Now I'm going to watch the real life Slenderman case. <coughs> which I already know all about because I love Slender Man. And see, I, I love horror and I love especially paranormal horror. Um, I don't really like gory stuff, like, <laughs> okay, well now I'm recording, so if you could not. So I was Girls Trap. Watch it. So after bringing up paranormal things, Molly just decided to stop recording and turn herself off for literally no reason. <laughs> like the battery is still fully charged and everything. Was I really sitting here talking for that long? I don't think so. Um and then my brother came out and started harassing my animal. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh, I love paranormal horror. And Marble Hornets is probably one of still the scariest series that I've ever seen in my life. I never finished it. I don't know if they ever even finished it, but at the time that it was coming out, it was terrifying. I remember it was so well done. <laughs> and they were such good actors and such good um everything editors and stuff but anyway she said kendall ray the one that i've been watching for hours said that she's not interested in um slender man stuff she thinks a lot of it's like bullshit and stuff which it is um it's based on a urban legend thing but it's still interesting to talk about i actually took a sci-fi what was it, sci-fi and psychology class or something in high school? So it was like not a legitimate class, but we had to do some huge group presentation at the end of the semester about some sci-fi thing, and I did it on Slender Man. So that was fun. Oh, hello, cat. Kiddos. So I don't know <laughs> if you guys remember a few vlogs back, I was talking about a show where women went to prison for like killing people and one of them the six-year-old son was the one that like testified against his mom and said no my mom drowned my sister it turns out that woman also had a baby who also randomly just like stopped breathing one night and so they were pretty sure that she had something to do with that too um but that youtuber i was just talking to you guys about which was now like three hours ago um did an episode on her and i thought that was interesting because i didn't know that before but then I watched Stardust with my sister-in-law. And that's actually a really cute movie. It's pretty cheesy, but it's really cute. 10 out of 10 would recommend. So now I'm going to bed. Because I have wine stuff to do tomorrow. Go in. Oh, okay. Okay. Um... And I'm just tired from last night anyway, because I didn't get home until late. I don't even know what time I got home. I should, I guess I could look and see what time I uploaded yesterday's vlog. <laughs> but, yeah, so it was a pretty good day. You know what I mean? Are you going to say hi to the vlog? Nope, he turned his back on you guys. Okay, well, anyway, I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, that's it.